Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus' entire ministry is about healing. In the Gospel of Luke, he goes around healing people with leprosy, people who are paralyzed, people who are blind. Today we hear the story about the ten people with leprosy. We hear about people watching their sores simply disappear, watching their wounds healed right before their eyes. These people with leprosy are healed of disease that had plagued them. But as you might wonder, like I do, what about all the others who don't receive a healing? What about all the people who don't heal? What about the people who call out in prayer for healing but get no answer? Not all people experience this type of healing, a miracle healing like the 10 people with leprosy do in our reading today. We don't all get to experience this type of healing. Sometimes people are not cured of their diseases. Some diseases are chronic. Disease and illness kill people. Actually, we all die of something. Maybe not a disease, but death is an absolute. Still, Jesus' entire ministry is about healing. He came to heal, and that is what he does. His death on the cross, the victory over the powers of sin and death, are a healing that we all get to experience. Being a Christian in Christ, we aren't guaranteed a disease-free life a life free of sin and death. But as Christians, we can have faith that the powers of sin and death no longer win the war. The powers of love and life, the powers of God, are stronger than the powers of the forces that defy God. This can be a confusing idea, that the powers of sin and death no longer have dominion. If this is true, then why do we still experience both sin and death? How can this be, you might wonder? Shouldn't it be one way or the other? Well, let me give you an example to help explain. We probably all know a little bit about the American Civil War. I want you to think about Christ's victory over the cross that way, as a battle of opposing forces. So in Gettysburg, there was a big battle during the Civil War. Most people know of it because it is considered the pivotal battle of the Civil War. Once the Union Army won that battle in Gettysburg, there was no way possible that the Confederate Army could have won the war at large. Essentially, the war was over. However, we all know that there were many battles that continued on after Gettysburg, before the war came to a close. Well, Christ's victory is kind of like the Battle of Gettysburg. When Christ died on the cross, there became no way for the powers of sin and death to actually win the war. Essentially, the war between good and evil was done when Christ rose from the dead. But like the American Civil War, there is still some sin and death that followed the pivotal, pivotal battle. The important thing about the battle, though, Christ's victory over the powers of sin and death is that they are just hanging on. That in all reality, the world is now in the process of healing. Through Christ's victory, this world is now becoming the place that God wants it to be. It's all about healing. And we are a part of that. Though this world is unfair, a place where good people get sick, and bad people often seem rewarded, but the witness, what we witness in Jesus' ministry of healing is a world that is being fixed. Jesus' entire ministry is about healing. It's about Jesus invading the world where the powers of sin and death reigned and conquering them, bringing health, healing, wholeness to all in need. Jesus' entire ministry is about healing. And his healing is a healing that goes so far beyond the individual. He heals entire families communities, the world, even the cosmos. He heals the brokenness that entered into creation through the fall. He fixes us at the deepest level possible. He makes us right with God. He fixes it all for us. The healing that we all get to experience from Christ is a healing that goes deeper than just the body. 
We get to experience in Christ a healing that heals our relationship with God. We receive a healing of our essence, who we are at our core. Jesus' entire ministry is about healing. And like the lepers who gave thanks in our text today, we too are called to thank God for what Jesus Christ has done to heal us. As we can see, a cleansed Samaritan leper becomes a model for those who would praise and worship God and give thanks for God's mercy. And so the point of the story might not just be the healing, but also our response to the healing. In our healing miracle of becoming right with God in Christ, will we, like the cleansed leper, praise God with a loud voice, prostrate ourselves at Jesus' feet, and thank him? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. Just how are we going to show our gratitude? Jesus' entire ministry is about healing. Through faith, the leper was made well. Through faith, you too are made well. Trust that your relationship with God is healed. Have faith in it. You are freed from having to always wonder if you are right with God. In Christ, you are. Take it. Accept that you are accepted. Trust it. And now live differently because of it. Jesus' entire ministry is about healing. Receive his blessing. The Almighty Lord, a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and whom they obey, be now and evermore your defense, and make you know and feel that the only name given under heaven for health and salvation is the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.